Oh, good morning from Anchorage, Alaska, baby. We finally made it. Somebody also told me the Muth's Tooth Pizza is some of the best pizza you can get in Anchorage, so I'm definitely gonna have to try that. First thing we do when we wake up every morning is take down these window covers. We got lots of condensation this morning. I stayed up till like three in the morning last night watching Planet of the Apes. The goal for today's video is to find the best pizza in Anchorage, find a super dope view. Honestly, I don't know what else at this point. Cabela's. I'm just gonna show you all the animals they have in here. This is incredible. So they got these two big old moose fighting right in the entrance. Wood bison. Welcome to Cabela's Anchorage. Bear. Perfect place to edit right here. They got a fireplace, chill spot. I don't know if those are real, but they're walrus. Real polar bears right there. There's the grizzlies, mountain goats. I've always wanted to see some of those in person. Musk ox. And this is just like the animal kingdom right here. Red fox, all the deer, pronghorn. That boy ugly. Bro, the mountain lions are the scariest things. Like, you see that boy coming at you, you're dead. They got all the fish. It just looks miserable, bro. They're in like a 10 by four box and they all just look depressed, just floating around. They don't even want to swim. I need to buy a Starlink really bad. So I'm going to try to figure that out as well, but I need to go take a shower. I'm feeling gross. Planet Fitness nearby here. About to just drive there. Six minutes, not too bad. Go just pulled up behind me. I'm gonna put the tripod in my bag just because I don't know how Planet Fitness is gonna feel about me filming in the gym. Scan in right here. Awesome. I don't know if this water's purified, but I drink it. This is the only water I really do drink. I'm gonna go do some curls, shower up. Also, while I'm here on the Wi-Fi, I'm going to upload my recent videos. Gotta download them from CapCut, and then I'm gonna upload them on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. So once that done, what's that done loading? Once I download that video, I'm gonna upload. My shower bag right there. Shower ready to go. Soap, face wash, a skitty. Oh, that shower felt great. Now it's time to eat some food. I'm thinking we go to the pizza joint. I think I've showed you guys how I hang up the towel, just front seat, back seat, headrest. Makes it to where it airs out nice and well. Nice and good. Dirty clothes, go in the dirty clothes hamper here. And then I like to pick out a fresh outfit for next time I go to Planet Fitness. I don't have to grab it. I can just grab my bag and go right in. Boxers, socks, t-shirt, shorts. I wanna make these like egg in a hole sandwiches today. You like cut a hole in the middle of the piece of bread um, and then you put the, you break the egg in the bread. It's hard to explain, but with the extra pieces of bread, you put them together and make like a little like the chocolate croissant or something like, that. I don't know. It's some, it looks delicious. I saw it on TikTok, it's super viral. So we might do that in today's vlog. I'm getting a large pizza though, so that's probably gonna last me all day or just one meal, depending on how I'm feeling. Smiley. Shit happens every time, dude. Short little 11 minute drive here. Okay, made it. This place is already, it's already looking nice. Here we are at Muth's Tooth Pizza. Let's see if it's actually the best pizza in Anchorage. Very interesting bike rack out front, artistic. Looks like a very family, family friendly place here. We got these nice uh, fireplaces out front. Let's go check it out. 
Thank you to the, uh, the Instagram followers for recommending this place. Let's see what it's looking like here on the inside. Ooh, Ooh wow. Hello, just two. All right, so it's a 20 minute wait here. We're not gonna wait for that. I'm just gonna order some takeout. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Looks like it's about $19 for a large cheese pizza. So let's go order that. Hello, can I order a takeout up here? All the way down where it says Miss Okay, thank you. It's a family friendly restaurant. Nice little bar there. Oh, this is where we do takeout, all right. Is a cheese, is a large cheese pizza probably like the best deal on the menu? Cheapest. Cheapest? Yeah. yeah. Okay, how, how big are like the largest? 18 inches. They look 18. like these ones right over here. That one? Oh my god. Okay, yeah. yeah that's large. Yeah, that'll be perfect. And it's gonna be about half an hour. Is that gonna work? Yeah, it's, that's good. What's your first name? Mike. Mike. Do you have any recommendations for like stuff to see in Anchorage? Yeah, Blue um, Point's cool. I mean, all right, got some good recommendations. Got our pizza on the way. 30 minutes. Uh, and now we wait. This thing is super comfortable, not gonna lie. I love sticker bomb stuff. <sighs> All right, we got our pizza. How about a Dave Portnoy this mother first look? Woo! That thing looks delicious. Bro, these slices are huge. Oh, one bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I don't know. What to... That's got to be like a. I don't know. Just look at this cheesy goodness. Super thin. The right amount of sauce. That's a solid eight. Solid eight right there. Oh, that's delicious. Booth's tooth. Definitely would recommend. I've only tried one pizza place in Anchorage, but this is definitely the best place. Hands down, haven't tried anywhere else. I don't care. All right, let's go on to a viewpoint here. Boom, half the pizza, just like that, all to myself. Save that for later. On the road again, nine minutes away here, going to Earthquake Park. Pizza just chilling there, riding shotgun. It felt so good to just buy some food for once and actually just sit there and enjoy it. The pizza was absolutely amazing. I ate half of it. Let's go check out. I want to find the best view, the best skyline view next. Who wants to go to BJ's and get some salmon? Me. I think this might be the tallest building in Anchorage. I'm just kidding. I haven't even really seen the city that much yet. <clears throat> Parked right in between these two spots. I don't care. I'm trying to find the view here. Let's get this skyline view going. Like to the left, more. If I walk along the road there? So we, we went down, came up this way, but we went down that way and took the left. Thank you. Welcome to Earthquake Park. Love me like you do. Love, love, love me like you do. Save a brain, wear a helmet. I wonder what this angle even looks like. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty like drone shot. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys into a drone real quick. Looks like this trail's there. Mm. There is just a good comparison of how big Alaska is compared to the rest of the U.S. That's crazy. So Joe just told me that people often walk around with bells and have like, you know, jingle bells on their dogs just so when they're going on hikes or walking in nature, they don't walk up on a bear and surprise the bear. Because if you yeah. surprise and shock the bear, it's going to, you know, maul you. Yeah. Probably kill you. Bad stuff. But that's that's interesting if you're going on a hike in bear country make sure you grab a bell walk around with that thing ring it make sure you grab a bell ring it every once in a while behold earth did quake and the rocks went this is why it's called earthquake park i'm gonna climb that in a second tsunamis hit i don't know tsunamis hit here yeah i mean is that water yeah, yeah. that's water up there the ocean. my time to shine I won't. I won't. I'm a professional. Uh, uh, it's the best view in the park here. I'm scared. Nah, I'm not going to stand on it. But now I feel like I have to.
Alaska's got earthquakes and tsunamis and grizzly bears and wolves and mountain lions mountain lions Links. this might be one of the most dangerous states in the u.s to live like wildlife first little view here Let's see if we can get to the ocean here mate the sea i think people have taken it come to a bit of a cliff i know look the trail goes all the way down there i'm sure there's a spot we can go to the ocean beluga point that's that's the ocean all right finally opened up a little bit got the super flat looks like that's like two feet deep if that something went down here oh there's a little skyline right there see that look at that zoom baby i'm right in that i'm right in that passenger seat with him just all the way out so there's a kind of cool shot little skyline shot that's not bad i want to find the alaskan bullworm If you don't know what I'm talking about, leave the channel, unsubscribe, don't leave a comment, don't like the video. You don't belong here. What is it? You don't know what the Alaskan bullworm is? Know. Bro, you never watched Spongebob? I have, yeah. The Alaskan bullworm. Maybe I'm mispronouncing it. Now you're making me second guess. I'm not sure how much, how many details of Spongebob are there. Bro, I watched every episode a hundred times minimum. Yeah, this is, you can get under there. Be a good spot to sleep if you're homeless. Good thing I'm not homeless. Here. I saw it. It was big. It was all wiggly. And it <laughs> ate everything. It's horrible. It was an Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't remember that. That episode is legendary. I don't think this is where the trail goes. Seeing anyone eat a Krabby Patty is just like, oh. Yeah. Smash burger. Yeah. Smash burger. Go that way. Go that way. What? We cannot go that way. What happened? What? He said, the trail's blown that way. Bro, why can't we go that way? Let's. Maybe it says a grizzly bear. So they got a bunch of cop cars over here. What's going on? But now I'm extremely interested. Maybe a bear mold someone, bro. Well, the road's not close. Let's walk on the road. Right. I want to go see what's going on. Let's do it. All right, let's ask this dude. Can I hold my hand, bro? Bro, you are walking too close to me, and you're- I have, I have a tendency You swing to... like this. You, you sw <laughs> you're swinging your arms like this. Okay? I I'd like to say I have a tendency to walk off center. <laughs> Get your balance right there, buddy. Just uh, the road up to Warren's off, then you can get back on the trail at Warren's Warren's off. Warren's off, I'm not fucking. It, it's, it's about a quarter mile. Okay, mile. it's on the road. Yeah, yeah that's right. So you can back on the trail. Thanks, mate. Anything, what happened over there? It's just a medical emergency. Oh, okay. It's a crime scene right now. Crime scene? No, like, did someone get hurt or? A medical emergency, that's all. Okay. No bears? You don't? No. Yeah, okay. That's wild. Oh, there's a trolley. Yeah, we're right by the airport here. I'm about to get my Logan Paul Japanese forest. I'm extremely interested now. Okay, we got one cop car leaving. Okay, but like, if it's a medical emergency, someone had a heart attack, they're rushing them to the hospital really quick. If it's a crime scene, something went down. Somebody attacked somebody else. There's no other reason for it to be a crime scene. And if they're parked right here, then it's literally parallel. Like something's going on right there. Oh my God. Oh, is that the ambulance? That is the ambulance. What is going down? That's insane. Anchorage fired. What was happening? They well, said it was, it was a, a crime medical, scene. Medical emergency, but. Medical emergency? Yeah. Turned into a crime scene? No. No? No, it's, it's all good. Okay, everyone's good? Yeah. Okay. You think someone just fell off a bike? Stay away from the trail, it's a crime scene. Can we get back on the trail? Up a little bit further. Up a little yeah. further? Did someone fall off a bike or something? Yeah, it's just up a little bit further. Okay. Yeah, thanks. They're really not commenting on it. God, I'm always, I watch so much cop shows. I'm always just so intrigued when something's going down. Walking on a thin thin rope right here. Try not to get hit. If you played Toontown as a kid, you know how much the trolley. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Toontown's the best. I'm still playing. I don't know why this song is stuck in my head, bro. like you do. What are you waiting for? I 
thing's going like 250 miles per hour. It looked like it just barely yeah. floating by there. This would be a cool spot to just wait for a plane to take off, get a cool shot of looking up at it or something. I got two, two puppers. That's how I'm trying to be when I'm older. I'll tell you that much. Got a little island over there. We're at, you know, the point where it's just coast all around us. But this is more of a bay. As you can see, there's still land over there. And then I think that is where it opens up to the ocean. All right, ready for takeoff here, baby. These things are huge, bro. God, that's so sketchy. That's like one of the biggest ones you can see it little float plane right there. Stay back. Stay back. Huh. Cool spot they got here. I'm up on this thing. My phone even see me? I'm not sure it's very safe. Like nah, if, you, if you had one fall and you started tumbling, you'd just, you'd just die, you'd break your neck. You would not die. Bro, it's steep enough that if you had a fall and you gained some speed, you, you just... It's like I can make it easily in slides. This is the view we're looking for right here. Let's make our way down. The vlog phone's on 5% right now, so we gotta hurry up and get these clips. Everything is graffitied up over here. I wouldn't mind learning some graffiti. Well, do a little art every once in a while. It would be fun. It's a nice little viewpoint here. Oh, where's that? See, kind. I want to climb that, bro. Big boy. Splash me there, mate. That's some dirty water too, <laughs> bro. This spot's pretty dope. I think I saw that. Look at this absolute gem of a view right here. Oh wow, got a little sunset action over here too. Beautiful. Well, what I was gonna say to you guys was basically that my camera died at Earthquake Park. We didn't end up doing anything else for the rest of the day. I just sat in the car, edited. We came back to the Capabella, Cabela parking lot and uh, this parking lot. I used the Starbucks Wi-Fi to just chill and edit eat some more pizza. Tomorrow we have a day packed full of stuff. Try to get the most out of Alaska. But it's really seeming like Joe does not want to do too much. Like I want to do a lot more. He's not on the same page I'm on right now, which is fine. Either way, I kind of got a poop. So I'm gonna go walk around Target, see if we can work one out. I'm probably gonna cut that out. Mission successful. Now, I'm probably gonna eat these last two pieces of pizza, meaning I ate, this is all I ate today, just a large pizza, which, you know, it's not bad. It's not impressive, but it's not bad. And I'm gonna finish watching Planet of the Apes because I did a sh kind of editing and then I did some travel stuff today to film. So it was a productive day in my book. We need to start making our way back towards the States, which is gonna be like 48 hours of driving, but it's worth it because we'll have beautiful views along the way. I still really wanna see a grizzly bear. I still wanna see, some more stuff in Alaska. I feel like I haven't seen any really like wildlife in Alaska besides the drive here and the drive out, which is not, you know, everybody sees that. I wanna see the stuff that's not everyone gets to see, but that's why I need to ask the locals. I was also in Target debating on whether I should try to get a, this girl's number that uh, it was like a very awkward exchange. Like I was walking, she like walked in front of me, like all awkward, like, oh, sorry. She was like, oh, sorry, hee hee. And I was like, yep, sorry, it's, it's all good. You're fine. You're extremely fine. And then I was gonna, you know, be like, oh, hey, I'm, you know, I just drove in from uh, United States. You know, I just drove in from the States. Is there anything in here to check out? You know, any, any, any spots around here? But I didn't end up doing that. I did not end up doing that. Um, I don't know if I'm a coward or if I'm just focused on bigger and better things and know that I cannot support a relationship right now. Both could be true. Mm. Mm. Alright, alright, alright. Voice over time. It's like 12 o'clock. I'm watching Planet of the Apes. I see like five or six 
18 to 20 year olds walk up to my car and then they all surround my car, start banging on my windows and then run away to their truck. I'm laying in my bed so I scramble over to the driver's seat, grab a weapon, hop out of the car and start chasing them down. By that time they're already in their truck skirting out of the parking lot and then I start yelling obscenities at them and they start slowing down trying to do a slow creep away like they're intimidating or something. 1v6 and they still ran away. I was ready to solo squad wipe. <sighs> So it's 11.30 at night right now. I'm sitting here watching a movie, chilling. No window covers up so I can see outside. And I'm like, I hear these, like, I don't know, people walking by, a group of like four or five people. And, uh, you know, I, I look out and they're like kind of like surrounding my car a little bit. And then two of them walk up and just start like banging on my And then banging on my windows. And then they like run into their truck and they're like, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, so I like hopped out immediately and I pulled out the pulled out my phone and just started filming Cuz I was like, ah, I don't know bro. I'm so annoying. I don't know if they like People are people are dumb bro people are dumb that pissed me off really pissed me off <sighs> So I'm just gonna finish watching my movie and get ready for bed I guess Ah, uh, it's so stupid, bro. People piss me off. It's all good, though. Oh, there they are. They just flew by. Alright, let's get ready for bed. God, I hate when stuff like that happens. Just get all, like, worked up. For no reason. Now I feel like this sleep spot's not safe. I've moved to the other side of the parking lot. It's a huge parking lot, and I'm now, like, sandwiched between a bunch of other campers. So I was kind of over there, like, on my own. And I always feel safest when I'm, like, right with other people. Um, but, yeah, it just takes one little bad experience like that to ruin it. But it's all good. Window covers. I use this cushion as a between the knees pillow and I normally sleep on my side literally I don't like too much blanket unless it's really cold kind of use the sleeping bag it's like a arm to cuddle up with like that and that's how I sleep god that really made me mad I'm just gonna watch a movie forget about it and catch you guys tomorrow